seven high protein snacks easy to prepare coming up right now. Throughout the building muscle process, we find ourselves stuck or stagnating into a certain point. So we need to bump up our calories, but unfortunately many times we are full, we don't want to eat a full meal. So we need to help ourselves with these snacks. Today I'm gonna show you seven of my favorite snacks, super easy to prepare, delicious. And uh, yeah, let's start with the first one. morning is breakfast time my typical four eggs half an avocado and some tomatoes and the snack the first snack of the day it's cream of rice 50 grams a half a scoop of uh, whey protein and half of pear so this is a great snack high in carbs a little bit of protein in there but uh, it complements very well my breakfast this is a great idea to bump up your carbs all right so uh, i'll have the breakfast and uh, i'll see you guys in the next uh, snack My typical protein shake, one full banana, 60 grams of oats, one scoop of protein, one creatine, 300 milliliters of water. I have this every day. It's a great, obviously a great uh, protein snack. It serves very well in between my clients. It's a very quick and fast uh, snack. But this is my second shake. So that was my first one. My first snack, the rice. This is my second snack. See you on the third one. So another one, a very high protein snack. Maybe you, you know for sure about uh, beef jerky and other things like this. What I like doing, and it's a cheaper alternative, and I would say even better, you can go to these uh, butchers, you can cut bresaola, it's like this, you have slices, and you can uh, cut them like uh, beef jerky, or you can get chunks like this. We discovered this lately that when they have like a big chunk, they slice it, and when it's the last part, like this, they sell it like a... Uh, 70% discount. This is a great, great alternative. And uh, this is another one. I don't know exactly how this one is called. Still, same thing like a beef, very lean. Nutrition wise, you have per 100 grams, 2.7 fat, 0 0.7 carbs, and 33 grams of protein. So it's just pure protein. Yeah, whenever I'm on the go and I want to have a pro high protein snack, this is definitely on my list. It looks like an ass. <laughs> what I like doing, I also have this uh, in the morning with my eggs. So it tastes delicious. All right, next one. Another really easy high in protein snack that I love. It's skir. Skir is actually a cheese, it's not yogurt. It has 0.5 grams of fat, 4 grams of carbs and 11 grams of protein. So if I put 200, 250 grams, it's uh, equivalent to 100, 125 uh, grams of chicken. This is a great, great snack. I combine it with fruits, either a banana, a pear, whatever you like. This is very low in fat, but if you want to bump up your fats, also you can add peanut butter or you can add uh, cashew nuts or other, other fat sources. This is a great one, I love it. I've been using this for a long time and it's a very, very easy way to increase your protein. The typical oatmeal, high protein, high carbs, relatively low in fat. You can drop the fat even lower when you use just water and that's what I'm gonna do. My typical oatmeal, one banana. So I take out the banana and I smash it into a bowl. You can use obviously other fruits, but uh, you know the banana really gives it uh, a nice flavor and a ni nice, uh, nice texture also. So I smash the banana until it's like uh, almost liquid. And then on the scale, 100 grams of oats, one of the best carb sources. Don't listen to other things that you hear now on the internet. The oats are the OG, the best ones. So 100 grams. half a scoop of whey. You can add creatine here also if you want. For me, I add it in my protein shake, my scoop of creatine. If you want to bump up the calories a little bit more, you can uh, go for milk. Mix it up until you make it like a porridge. Uh, I like to let it sit for like five minutes. Make it even better, some frozen fruits. There you go. 
throughout my years I've been eating this almost every day. Oats are one of the best carb sources. I will leave the, the macros up here and the calories and up to the next one. So as you can see, there are a lot of banana and oats and uh, protein powder in uh, these recipes. The next two snacks, there are gonna be one protein bar and one is like protein balls. That's what I like to, to do from time to time. This requires fridge time. So you can prepare and keep them overnight in the fridge. They become harder and it's easier to transport. One for the protein bar, one for the protein balls. Then the protein bars, they will have peanut butter also, oats, the protein balls will have cranberries. Same thing here. We take the banana, rip it. You smash it the same way like you did on the oatmeal. Alrighty, another one. This is a really cool one. I like to snack, you don't even feel it when you snack with this. You really bump up the calories very fast like this. It has the same main ingredients, so a banana. This time we need oats flour. So how we do that, you just measure 100 grams of oats in the blender. As you can see, a lot of snacks are based on oats. I think all of them, they have oats, banana, so you can uh, imagine how much I love oats. If you don't like oats, instead of the oatmeal, you have the rice, the rice pudding that I did this morning. So I measure here 100 grams, just blend it up. Easy peasy. So we have the flour here. Throughout the years, you know, bulking up, it's, uh, it's not an easy thing and you have moments in which you stagnate and you feel like you're really eating the entire day and uh, you can't eat anymore. Well, these things, these small little treats, it's a great, great way to bump up the calories. So you smash the banana until it becomes liquid because there's no other liquid here. After the, the banana is liquid, you just add the, the flour, add it to the mix, make sure you slap the blender. The cranberries, so as much as you prefer, you know, I have like 20, 20 grams here. Obviously, if you want to ma make uh, more, you just double up the portion, two bananas, 200 grams of oats. Uh, like I said, you can add the protein powder. Uh, you can add your creatine here. So after you have this uh, dough, because it's really like a dough with the flour, you just take a Tupperware and make sure you wash your hands. You take a little bit of this dough and you just roll it in your hand. Voila, there you have. And when you, you, you put it into, into the fridge, after that they get uh, harder and you can put them in a, keep them in a box and you know, go out uh, or travel or whatever and you have a very healthy and high caloric uh, snack. And it's really cool with, with uh, protein powder also. Exactly, if you fail to prepare, you're preparing to fail. So make sure you prepare your snacks. Don't miss any meal, don't miss any snacks. Keep the calories up and you will make progress. I hope all of this will help you to maintain your calories up, to bump up the calories, to make some more gains. So inside the gym, I had a pump, I just finished my workout. You can check up here another video about nutrition. You have up there also a link with uh, some workout playlist and nutrition. So keep up with me, like and subscribe, all of that. Thanks again for watching. See you, ciao.